Yes, yeah, so I'm uh, uh, I'm Tom Fritz. I'm a professor for empirical um, music research, and I have a group at the Max Planck Institute for Cognitive and Brain Sciences in the Neurology Department, uh, looking at music-evoked brain plasticity. But I also have created a company, so a startup that um, is created from the research in my lab to optimize the effects of music in rehabilitation and sports. So today, for example, at the panel, we've been talking a lot, lot about immersion. And it's true, music can do this immersion with us. But, uh, you know, when we are most immersed in the music is if we're playing a concert ourselves. Even if we're not a great musician, you know, if you're playing a musical instrument yourself and you like it, then you're really immersed. And that's also what's interesting for us uh, in neuroscience is that's when, you know, the music has the greatest impact. And music has a lot of impact on us already, even listening to music, but making music, we see even stronger effects than just listening to music. Music has most effect, I think, when, um, when you identify with it. And it may be that at some point, you identify with loud and heavy guitars and at others you identify with a subtle flute. I'm a neuroscientist, but you know, uh, neuroscience is not only about the brain. And you know, we have this whole nervous system uh, that's not only inside our brain and what's actually happening in the body, it plays a huge role for, you know, how we perceive the world and ourselves and ourselves in the world and that will make a, a huge difference if we you know if we consider uh, you know that the body physiology plays also a very important role in the experience of music research of course lives from unexpected things you know I mean one of the most unexpected things probably were when I um, when I did a music ethnological field research, I was interested in how music works on us and our, on our brain. I was doing an MRI analysis of the auditory pathway, looking at what happens when you like certain music or when you dislike certain music. But I was unhappy about it because I wanted to uh, understand what's happening when you you know, when you have a cultural influence that you would like certain music and someone else would hate exactly the same music. So I did this music ethnological field research visiting a group of people who have never before listened to Western music in the northern region of Cameroon, in the border region to Nigeria and the Chad. And, um, and that was a surprise because what they understand is music it's something very different than at first we seem to understand music. Yeah? So they don't have happiness expression, sadness expression, angry expression, all these kinds of emotional expression they seem to do without pretty fine. And still they have very intense emotional experiences with music. But these, uh, you know, are created in a different manner that I found extremely interesting and from which I think I was inspired a lot. And I have to say, I think I, you know, I tried to translate some of their uh, ideas and concepts about how they have these intense emotional experiences with music from their culture into our culture. And I have been applying this ever since in our neuroscience research to optimize rehabilitation and also other, also the use of music in rehabilitation, but also to bring this into other contexts where it may be useful in society. We had a scientific panel today uh, about uh, music and health. I'm also associated with the EPEM in Ghent, so I'm a guest, guest professor there. So the EPEM was invited to present here, but 
I also found here through another channel is that I created this startup uh, that does this music tech and this optimization of the use of music in rehabilitation and sports. And, uh, and they were on the radar of the California and were uh, invited to participate in the incubator. And uh, that didn't work out for organizational reasons because the startup was already involved with other accelerator in Germany. Uh, but still, we, we, we had a great conversation and uh, realized, wow, you know, even if the startup is not going to be here, I'd be super happy to see what's going on at California. And it seems that, you know, people are super interested in the neuroscience of music and you know what's the basis for our experience of music and how this may translate into technology and i think that you know i, I feel super comfortable here and like this is one of these communities to whom i belong to that i never knew before so for me it's a it's a, like it's a wonderful experience and i had these great conversations about music with people and that the, yeah so that for me, that was a reward in itself. You know. California Music Tech is for me, yeah, of course, a new type of adventure because um, it's a largely new group of people I got to know. But at the same time, um, yeah, it feels like coming home with people who are interested in very similar things, maybe having been looking at them from a different angle. So, yeah, I'm not sure that's two words or two <laughs> sentences, but, you know. Make a drop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>